This is Chris Morgan for the Gathering for Gardeners Celebration of Mind. Hi, I'm Chris Morgan, and today we're going to look at a wonderful mathematical card trick called the Pack of Little Fibs. It was created by Colum Mulcahy, and it uses six cards from a deck of cards that happen to be in a Fibonacci series. We have an ace, two, three, five, eight, and king. Each card is the sum of the two below it in the series. So five is the sum of three and two. 8 is the sum of 5 and 3, and so on. Let's take a look at the trick and show you just how easy and fun it is to do. Okay, let's take a closer look at the pack of little fibs trick. So here are the six cards we're going to be using. We have the ace of clubs, the two of hearts, the three of spades, the five of diamonds, the eight of clubs, and the king of hearts. The ace, by the way, is worth one. So three is the sum of one and two, 5 is the sum of 2 and 3, 8 is the sum of 3 and 5, and th 13, which is the king's value, is the sum of 5 and 8. So a king is worth 13, a jack is worth 11, a queen is worth 12. You'll be mentioning that to your spectators later. So to do the trick, you just need to get these six cards. They can be in any order. And put them on top of your deck of cards. So they're right there and then you find two spectators and off you go. But just remember that you, you have to memorize those six cards. Now, I don't have a very good memory, so I have a cheat sheet that I use and it's got the names of the cards, so I would hide this in my lap. Of course, you don't want anyone to see it. Or if you have a good memory, you can just memorize the cards. But either way, be sure you know the names of the cards exactly, their values and suits. Now, to make the trick really effective, you want to convince the spectators that the cards are shuffled well and that they're going to be taking random cards from the entire deck. In fact, that's not the case at all. So I always begin by shuffling the cards just face up like this. And you'll notice that the six cards over here are going to stay right there as long as we put this stack back where it started from. So I can shuffle them like this and say, well, let's see, I just want to mix these up really well. And uh, then you find your two spectators and you say, just uh, here, take a bunch of cards. In fact, you've taken those six cards from our series and you're going to hand them to the two spectators. Okay, the spectators have the six cards and you tell them to mix them up face down on the table, just move them around so I have no idea what the cards are or what order they're in. I'll even turn my back while you do this. Now please take one card a piece from the table look at the cards and remember their values. So they're each going to take a card. Let's say they take those two cards. We'll move the rest aside. So, and then you say to them, remember your cards, memorize them. And uh, if you want to, you can whisper the name of the card to a friend next to you. But in any case, don't forget your two cards. Now, add up the values of your two cards and just tell me the total. Remember, an ace is worth one, a jack is worth 11, a queen is 12, and a king is 13. Now, this is a subtle way to make your spectators think that they're choosing cards from the entire deck, but in fact, they're only picking from six cards. So let's say they tell you that their total is 16. Just think of the largest fib card that's less than that total. So for 16, that would be 13, the king of hearts in this case, which is worth 13. So now we know the king is one of the two chosen cards. In fact, the king of hearts. To get the other card, just subtract the king's value from the total they gave you. They said 16 for a total. 13 minus 16 is 3. So now you know the second card is the three of spades. That's all there is to it. Now it's very important that even though you know the values, you're not going to reveal them just yet. You want to convince them that there's many more possible combinations of cards that could have added up to 16. So depending on the total, well, let's say for 16, I might say something like, hmm, 16, that could be the sum of a 10 and a 6, or a jack and a 5, or a 9 and a 7. And there's so many possibilities. But I think your cards are the king of hearts and the three of spades. 
and you'll get a tremendous reaction to this because people just aren't expecting you to be that specific that quickly. And it's partly because you're naming the suit as, val as well as the value of the card. Now, by the way, it's worth noting, sometimes the spectator's total that they give you will be exactly equal to one of the fib numbers. Uh, for example, your spectators might say their total is 8. No problem. Just remember to always pick the largest fib that's less than the given total. In this case, that would be 5. So now we know one of the cards is the 5 of diamonds. And to find the chosen card, you again subtract 5 from the total. So that's 5 from 8 gives you 3. So now you know the second card is the 3 of spades. And that's how you perform the pack of little fibs. I hope you enjoy performing it for your friends. Thanks.